All right, let's do some math today. We're gonna do some trigonometry. Let's do this one. Let's solve. So let's take a look at this one. It looks pretty ugly. We've got some double angles and we've got some single angles. This is designed to do within seven minutes, no calculator. So it's all algebraic. And I only want answers between negative pi and pi. Okay, so this is the type of question where you'd be given all kinds of formulas under the sun. This is taken from the IBHL exam, paper one, no calculator. Notice here that we have a double angle for the sine and we have a double angle for the cosine. Since those are single angles, we probably want to take these down to single, so at least we have the opportunity to, can't, to, to factorize, because we're going to have to factorize here. All right, so what I'm going to do, double sine is pretty easy. It's just 2 sine x times cosine x. There's only one option. Double cos has a few options. Um, and usually it doesn't really matter which one you choose, by the way. So I'm just going to choose, for no particular reason, um, this one. 2 cosine squared x minus 1. 1 plus sine x minus cosine x. Now, at least everything is single angle, and then we can do some algebra with this. 2 sine x cos x minus 2 cosine squared plus 1 equals 1 plus sine x minus cosine x. So far, so good. Notice, my friends, that we get an opportunity to cancel these ones. At least it reduces it now to one, two, three, four terms. There's four terms on the table here. So whenever I get four terms, I immediately begin to think, how can I factorize? And I probably will use factor by grouping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these two terms over so I can set the one side equal to zero, okay? And so that's gonna give a two sine x cos x. I'm already sort of strategizing on grouping. So I, I'm just gonna, for no reason, group the sine x with this one. Now, sometimes the grouping order, you need to play with it to make it work. And then minus two cos squared, the negative cos comes over becomes positive cos equals zero. So the whole idea is to group and group. The objective is to see that because all four terms don't have a greatest common factor, if you put them together in pairs, each of those pairs has a common factor. So I'm going to factor it out. That leaves me 2 cos x minus 1. And then this one here, minus cos. Take the cos out. You're left with 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0. Well, this was a good choice because look here. This and that are the same. This is one term right here. And that's another term. The GCF, the greatest common factor, is 2 cos minus 1. So 2 cosine x minus 1. It's a binomial common factor. And when I divide each term by it, I'm left with sine x minus cos x equals 0. Now this is good news because look, now we have a times b equals 0. And you know, I know you know, a times b equals 0 implies that either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So this is like the a, this is like the b. Well, what does that mean? That means that this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So what that also means is I can reduce that as a cosine x equals 1 over 2, or this is equal to 0. That means that sine x is equal to cosine x. I love that one. Do you know this pattern? Whenever you have sine equal to cos, here's the trick. You turn it into tan. Divide both sides by cosine. So this here turns into tan x equals 1. Okay, so now all we have to do is solve this equation and this equation, and then remember the solutions to those babies are collectively the solutions to the original mama. So how do I solve cos x equals a half? Well, that's pretty easy. I'm after the quadrants. Remember, trig is about quadrants and terminal arms. So I know in this case here that cosine is positive because cosine is equal to one over two. I also know that the one is the x-coordinate of the terminal arm. So cosine is positive in this quadrant and down here in the fourth quadrant. Uh, I can use my special triangle here. I'll form some triangles. The two is the radius of the special triangle and the one is the x-coordinate as said. So the missing side is root three, root three. That's your special triangle, your 30, 60, 90. 
and we're in radian measure, and the angle across from root three, that's your reference angle, I'll call it RA for reference angle, is pi over three. Okay, well now I want answers that start at zero and go all the way to pi. Notice I want answers from pi to negative pi. So that means you're, you're going forward counterclockwise, half a cycle, and then you're coming back the other way. So think of zero in the middle and moving counterclockwise pi and counterclockwise, I said that wrong, going counterclockwise to pi and clockwise to negative pi. So I want answers also right there, do you see? Well, this is pretty easy because that means that x is either pi over two coming forward positively or counterclockwise and also negative pi over three, negative pi over three. Okay, those are my two answers for this baby. Let's come to the second baby. Tan x equals one. Okay, well I usually say to students, memorize your 45 degree triangle, which is pi over four. Okay, it's a one, one, root two. If tan x is equal to one, I want you to memorize this. You automatically know that x is going to be equal to pi over four. You just know that, okay? I want you to memorize that. Um, because, and, and you know that because this angle here is pi over four right there, and there's your opposite and there's your adjacent, okay? Also too, we want all the answers between pi and negative pi. So for tan, I'm gonna draw a picture. Tan is positive in the first and third quadrants. Okay, so, and, and you can draw in your special triangles if you want to. Remember that's just one over one. So one and one, and the reference angle is pi over four. Now I wanna head counterclockwise all the way to pi. So I get my answer, that's one of the answers. And now I'm gonna come back. So I want this answer there. So that's gonna be pi minus pi over four or three pi over four, but I've gotta put a minus in front of it because I'm going in the clockwise direction. So I get four answers. Pi over four, negative three pi over four, these are in radians, pi over three and negative pi over three. All right, I hope you gave it a shot, I hope you tried it. Don't forget to slap a like on this video and I'll see you right back here in the next video.